Let's remain on health because some parents resort to traditional bone setters and alternative care in seeking treatment for their injured children. This, orthopedic surgeons say, is dangerous as limbs get rotten before children are sent to hospitals. Beatrice Piogabra reports the Ghana College of Physicians and Surgeons wants to retrain traditional bone setters in order to protect children sent to them for treatment. A child bone fracture, also known as pediatric fracture, is a medical condition in which a bone of a child is cracked or broken. The trauma and orthopedic directories of the Konfanoshi Teaching Hospital, Kath, recorded 529 cases of pediatric fractures in 2019. Out of this, 368 were boys, with 161 being girls. Child fractures recorded at Kath are from vehicle knockdowns and falls. Some of the fractures occur in schools when children are playing. Most of these cases are reported to herbal bone setters who sometimes are unable to cure the fracture but rather worsen the condition. Orthopedic surgeons at the Konfanoche Teaching Hospital are alarmed at the increasing cases of pediatric fractures with rotten limbs due to delayed reporting of cases to hospitals. 15 cases of pediatric amputation were recorded at the hospital's trauma and orthopedic directorate in 2019. The head of the directorate, Dr. Dominic Yabuakunedu, said delaying in sending fractures to hospitals is dangerous. As soon as the injury occurs, just rest the part of the uh, painful swelling, elbow or painful swelling body part, apply ice. If it's the arm, put it in a sling, could be a hair gear, just hang around the neck, then you rest the arm in, you may put ice around it to reduce swelling, to reduce pain, and then bring the child to the nearest uh, health facility. He encouraged parents to seek early treatment at the right place. The College of Physicians and Surgeons is initiating a nationwide training for traditional bone setters on basic treatment of fractures. All those who treat fractures, bring them under one umbrella and then offer them some basic training. How to bandage a fractured arm, how to bandage a broken or fractured leg safely mm -hmm. so that uh, the leg doesn't get rotten.